Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. As you can see today, we're talking about this beautiful QG Motor 300 SRVS. And this is pretty much the first Chinese V-twin small displacement cruiser. This bike is something like two years old. And before we start riding this bike, let me talk about specifications. So over here, as you can see, we have uh, a V-twin engine. The displacement is 296 cc. Uh, we have 30 horsepower and 26 Nm of torque. Other than that, as you can see over here, we have non-adjustable front suspension. It's an upside down front fork. From behind we have dual sided shock. One spring is here, the second one is there. We don't have a chain drive, this is belt drive. The most outstanding feature of this bike is it's super lightweight. So the carb weight of this machine is 163 kilograms wet and ready to go. Other than that guys, I would tell you that we have a front disc uh, which is 300 millimeters wide. Uh, we have dual channel ABS. Speaking about technology of this bike, we have slipper clutch, ABS, we have traction control. Um, speaking about the brakes, I'll mention that we don't have four piston caliper, we have two piston caliper and from behind to my humble knowledge we have 240 millimeter single disc. And this might be one piston caliper. Right guys, I feel like it is time for me to hop on the bike. Let's just listen to the engine, shall we? Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you. The seat height is 700 millimeters and the tank capacity is 13.5 liters, which is pretty good. Um, we don't have a TFT dash. The bike comes equipped with this LCD dash, which is pretty cool for a cruiser. All right, let's start the bike. Ooh, that sound is pretty good. All right, that V-twin sounds good. As we can see, those handlebars, they're vibrating pretty badly. So I don't know guys whether you're fans of vibration or not, but it is what it is. I feel like given that this is a cruiser, it will not be a big problem. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Okay, first gear, let's go. Okay, 50 kilometers per hour is our top speed in the first gear, <laughs> of course. Um, actually, gears aren't too short. Uh, if my memory serves me well, on CLC 250, the first gear went only to 40 km per hour. So, compared to CLC 250, this is an improvement, I would say. All right, guys, you know the place. I'll try to measure 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration. I feel like it's pretty redundant <laughs> given that this is a small displacement cruiser, but yeah. You're watching Dizzy Mini, so this is what I do. All right, ready? All right. Ooh, okay, no cars from behind. There's only one car, I feel like we'll go. Okay, one, two, three. Ah. All right, hit the brakes. Ooh, okay, wasn't too bad the limiter in the first gear but I feel like it was pretty good yeah, and this bike is not too fast but it's quite dynamic for what it is uh, this displacement like 300 cc is pretty much almost the same as like 250 cc and I will tell you that 26 Nm of torque feels pretty good and again uh, this is not a single cylinder engine so we have this pretty cool uh, very distinctive uh, V sound and uh, yeah, it's kind of pretty torquey. I didn't expect it to be torquey. The bottom end torque is quite nice. All right, let's do it one more time. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, whoa. <laughs> All right. Uh, by the way, I was in the fourth gear and we went all the way up to 120 kilometers per hour 
And guys, the top speed of this bike is 129 kilometers per hour. This is official top speed. So I almost hit like it's top speed, which is crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know, the only thing I need to mention is that actually when I go fast, um, I feel as if the handlebars, they feel a little bit loose. They're like very, very light. And um, I don't like it so far because it takes away from stability. It doesn't feel too stable. Thus, it doesn't feel too confidence inspiring, if you know what I'm saying. Um, it felt as if those handlebars started wobbling a little. Not too badly, not too badly. But um, the root of the problem is that this is the cruiser, so uh, my butt and my body weight is concentrated on the rear part of the bike. Meanwhile, the front, uh, the front end of the bike is very light, so this is the reason why. You know what? Let's do it one more time. By the way, hit the brakes. Brakes are not very sharp. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> let's hit the brakes yeah this two-piston caliper isn't sharp one can argue that it will be good for a beginner but you know what uh, the other day I was riding Vogue or Vogue 250 and that bike didn't have sharp brakes as well but the performance the brake performance of that bike was way better than this um, I would feel that the performance of these brakes would be a little bit too soft for me I would like to have sharper brakes um, I think if you would encounter an emergency on your way riding SRV 300 and you have to like hit the brakes as hard as possible in order to avoid an accident I feel like oh these brakes wouldn't be the best in the class for sure uh, with that being said given that this is not a new bike I feel like it will be still right guys I need to mention that this bike is almost two years old and um, given this crazy pace of advancement, given how fast everything is uh, getting better here in China in terms of uh, motorcycles, I feel like this bike, even though it's like even less than two years old, it, it's already a little bit obsolete. Uh, right now, if you're getting a motorcycle for let's say 23, 24 thousand RMB, and this was uh, the original price of this bike, you're getting like a whole bunch of different features. Again, technology-wise, we have ABS, we have traction control, slipper clutch. But uh, right now, if you're gonna spend, let's say, 17,000 RMB, uh, you're gonna get, let's say, Vogue 250, which has a TFT dash. It has pretty much everything this bike have, and I would say that that bike feels more refined. Uh, it doesn't have vibrations. It feels pretty much as maneuverable as this bike, and I would say that this maneuverability is pretty much the most attractive trait of this bike so far again 163 kilograms makes this bike the lightest in the class and as I ride I feel absolutely amazing other than like top speed performance when you go really fast as I've mentioned uh, the handlebars get a little bit loose and the bike start like the bike starts wobbling a little which is of course not good for your confidence uh, with that being said uh, the second hand motorcycle would be at around 13, 14 thousand, which would be cheaper than a new Vogue 250. But still, I would say that uh, new motorcycles from China, they are like just so much better. They feel more refined, they have more features, they are smoother, they are just better in general. With that being said, guys, I would tell you that this bike is quite reliable. Uh, I know many people who are riding these bikes for one, two years. And so far, these bikes don't have many problems and issues so much so that many places where they purchase bikes to rent them out they uh, buy those SRV 300s because people love them and uh, they are pretty reliable yeah so I know that Chinese reliability might be the greatest concern for most of you and reliability wise this bike would be pretty cool but I need to mention one thing check this out so the fuel tank is holding on a thread <laughs> yeah it's not very stable it's not well attached and yeah the handlebars are vibrating but uh, my butt actually is not vibrating uh, it feels pretty smooth to be honest uh, but again if we compare this bike to competition this bike does feel a little bit obsolete uh, but speaking about a good thing 
uh, I would say that my favorite part of this bike is, as I've mentioned, maneuverability, but other than that, I would say that the gearbox is surprisingly good. I would actually say that the gearbox is great. First off, I do not slip into neutral. Second of all, I can upshift without a clutch, like nothing, super easy on this bike. Uh, when you use the clutch lever, the clutch lever is very soft, really easy to operate. And yeah, the gearbox is just awesome, like really good. It's not sticking, it's very smooth. I know that most of you guys, you watch me from other countries, uh, and uh, in those countries, some of those new Chinese bikes, they're not available. And uh, you might ask me, so is it a good bike in general if other options are not available? For example, if I cannot purchase a uh, 5 to 5 Vogue CU or CU 250 or CLC for this matter, should I get this bike instead? And I would say that in lack of a better option, this motorcycle would be great. It has pretty much everything you want. Uh, again, my biggest complaint about this bike so far is probably this lack of stability on high speed. And second problem, second issue is uh, brakes. They're not as sharp as I want, want them to be. It's actually way less sharp than the competition. But overall, this motorcycle is pretty good. Again, it's quite dynamic. Um, reliability is good. It's very comfortable for a person of my size. I'm one meter 85 centimeters. I'm almost 90 kilograms heavy and so far, like I feel really good. I feel very, very, like very comfortable on this bike. And again, it's super maneuverable. The radius of turning of this bike is really impressive. Uh, I would say that this might be one of the most uh, maneuverable bikes that you can get from a Chinese manufacturer, regardless of displacement and form factor. I don't know whether you can see it or not, guys, but I almost touched the asphalt with my knees. It's crazy. <laughs> like. Oh shoot, did you hear that? <laughs> so just now I scratched the foot pack because I was just way too freaking low. <laughs> it's really easy to maneuver around on this uh, 300 SRV. Yeah, like easier than on any other motorcycle, I'm telling you, like, which is crazy because we're talking about a cruiser. So yeah, guys, I feel like this bike is really cool. Now, I would make it really short this time. Please let me know what you think about this bike in the comment section below. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. New bikes, guys, are coming. I hope that some really cool motorcycles will be featured on my channel pretty soon. So yeah, uh, hope you're just as excited as I am. Alright guys, <laughs> yeah, I feel like I have to say goodbye, stay safe and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye everybody, take care.